Plains, speak to Ross Feingold, an Asia political risk analyst. Good morning, as it is here in uh, Turkey, Ross, to you. Thanks for joining us. I mean, this has become very much a political issue. It's not necessarily just about public health right now. There were demonstrators calling uh, the government a dictatorship, calling for Xi Jinping to step down. And that's so rare, isn't it? It's rare, but we have to keep in mind, it's not unheard of. Uh, obviously, uh, these kinds of messages on social media would always get scrubbed uh, right away to the extent the censors could keep up with it. Uh, even public protests, though, over various issues, whether it's uh, uh, housing issues, uh, projects that failed, investors who lost money in some kind of scam, wages. These things are not unheard of in China uh, pre-COVID. I mean, of course, directing it personally and references to the leadership, including Xi Jinping, is, is, uh, is certainly more rare. Uh, and that's something the authorities are obviously uncomfortable with. Uh, Adam kind of referred to it uh, earlier. I don't know if you were listening to Adam Hancock from Singapore, Ross, talking about central government versus local government. And quite often in China, local government does make concessions to show that the Communist Party does care about its people. So would you expect some sort of easing of measures? Because what's been happening now for almost three years, it's quite clearly getting to people so much that they're prepared to take these risks and go out onto the streets. Yeah, th th that's a great point because there's a flip side of that where the government at the top says, our policy is zero COVID, and then the, basically says to the local governments, you handle it, you implement it. And then very often, just given the nature of the political system at the local level, they, they might go further than the central government had actually envisioned, uh, if for no other reason than just to please the central government. Uh, so sometimes they do go too far, and then we see a public response, and then the, center, the local government officials are racing to prove how responsive they are to public opinion. And then the central government will say, yep, you see, uh, as a party and as a government, we do respond to public opinion. So there's been some of that over the past week and certainly over the past 24 hours where we see some uh, uh, reduction in some of the restrictions in various municipalities, letting people go out, saying we're not going to do a draconian lockdown of an entire uh, uh, housing estate or a neighborhood. Uh, but ultimately, the zero COVID approach is, is something they are still sticking with, despite these costs that they now have to deal with, including that is the bad public relations, because we're talking about it on international television. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you see the issue of vaccines as being too politically sensitive for Beijing to take up that German suggestion that China start using Western manufactured vaccines? A lot of medical experts have not been totally convinced about the efficacy of Chinese vaccines. But if Beijing was to start using Western manufactured ones, They've also, the Chinese, of course, used uh, the pandemic to show the world that it can help the rest of the planet with Chinese manufactured vaccines. Yeah, well, what, what an interesting issue that is, because we know that th this is not an altruistic offer from, from the German manufacturer. There is money to be made here as well. It's possible at some point that the Chinese government will say that, yes, we've, we have finally approved a, a foreign vaccine, whether it's the German vaccine, by way of thanks for the recent uh, uh, German chancellor visit, where he brought a large delegation of business leaders, uh, just in the interest of improving bilateral relations with a specific country like Germany. Uh, they could say that because of variants, uh, it's now time to use some imported technology and vaccines as well. So there is a, a kind of a face saving way out of that to bring in more uh, or bring in a or several foreign vaccines. And it's very possible that they will do so at some point. Ross Feingold, as always, really appreciate it. Ross, thank you very much indeed.